Hey everyone, we're back on the fitness journey, fitness series, photo shoots, fitness, health, life. Um, thanks again for showing up. So today we're gonna to be talking about posing. So I made another video on posing, just model posing, but this is more fitness, fitness related poses um, that I think are gonna be helpful for anybody doing a fitness photo shoot, um, whether you're a trainer or you're a photographer or um, you're really just anybody really and just want to have some pose ideas. So let's get started. Number one is do your regular warm up. Just do like a light warm up. Um, some some cardio exercises, whether that's like running, a little bit of running, um, like some stretches. Uh, it doesn't need to be like long. It it can be under like ten minutes when you're doing this because your this photo shoot might take more than an hour or around an hour. But uh, warm up photos are a great way to start. Kind of just even get used to being taken. You can warm up together as a model and photographer. Uh, one's taking the pictures, one's actually warming up for the rest of the shoot. And it's also going to give you the chance to um, actually warm up. The next one, the next one is to flex your muscles, flex an individual part or muscle. Um, now I unfortunately am not a kinesiologist major, so I don't know the muscle groups like, but you know, the, the parts of your body that you've really worked on, the, the parts of your body that you've really crafted, um, those are important to flex. Um, there are some good poses, you know, you can go like left, you can look directly at the camera like left. Um, you can also get different shots where you're directly facing the camera. Um, some high low shots, a lot of the high low shots as far as like the camera being lower, um, that like kind of signifies like power and then if it's lower or if it's higher, you know, you can get more of your um, upper upper body, um, some of that tone in that area. Uh, it's also important to work a lot with the lighting in these positions as well so that the your muscles are well defined. Like I bet I bet they're well defined, but sometimes you can get flat lighting and um, that's just not that's not what you want to be going for in these photo shoots. So so I know I'm talking more so I know I'm talking a lot about the upper body, but you can also do, do uh, flex on the quads and, you know, just do reps of them, do re repetitions of um, flexing. Don't always be flexing. Otherwise, you're just going to tire yourself out um, a lot quicker. And um, that you can do to keep your uh, energy up is instead of just flexing, you can flex after or during when the photographer is ready. Um, but that will save you a lot of energy. Like you can put your hand up and wait to flex. Um, so you're not like flexing for a whole like 20, 30 minutes um, because then you're just gonna get very tired. Uh, so that's that's another. It also, it also might be worth using props. So things like dumbbells or a bench press or um, deadlift, any of those are really common. Um, you know, the deadlift videos are really common. Um, but if you're looking for something else, I would go with dumbbells. Dumbbells are super easy. Like you can go some somewhere lighter than you usually do uh, for any of these really. Um, but that's always an option as well. Calves, calves. So if you've been working on your calves, uh, here's a unique posing idea for you guys. Um, I would say I do this pretty frequently um, where people like lift lift their tiptoes, tiptoes up um, and do some photos like that. That one's a good one. Um, it shows height, it shows your calves. Um, it, it really enhances a lot of the parts um, under you and it looks really good, especially if you're, you have that definition to you. Um, so that is another idea that you guys can use uh, when you go into these fitness photo shoots. I also wanna mention, <laughs> Surf Shark, um, they are a VPN. Uh, they're European based, but they also have um, the ability to use United States networks and stuff. So go check them out, Surf Surf Shark. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe. There is more fitness content coming on this channel. Really excited about it. Um, I don't think I really wouldn't want to stop this series, but um, we'll see how far we get and. You know, I'm, I'm just having a lot of fun with it, uh, especially going to the gym and working on stuff. But yeah, subscribe, like this video and comment. Uh, let's get on to tip number four. The fourth tip, the fourth pose idea is ab abdominal, um, like crunches, anything with crunches, any supermans, any um, 
buys clothes really anything that can show your abs um even like even if you have like your shirt off or if you have like a sports bra something something that shows your ab abs um you can do a twist twist twists are pretty common like where you twist around a little bit and you get you show your abs um I've seen that a lot and it looks really, really good. Um, it looks like incredible when people show it and then you're actually photographing it and then you're like, wow, like these people, like some people, and then and then you're out there. It, it's just really cool because when, when you see it, you, you don't believe it until you see it, until you're like photographing it or you're getting photographed and you're like, wow, that is actually like true. Like that's not like, just sculpting, I guess. Um, number five is a group shot. So um, whether you have trainers, personal trainers, or if you are a personal trainer and you have uh, a client, uh, somebody that you're helping out with, um, that can be really good. Otherwise, larger teams, if you're like, you have, if you have, if you have a group of fitness instructors, um, that can actually be a really fun one. You guys can all do one type of workout or like a couple different workouts. You guys. There are a lot of things that you can do with group shots uh, in a gym. Uh, there are a lot of creative resources out there for group shot fitness photos. Photo I knew shoots. the perk was fake, uh, but I still ate it! You know, Cause I'm a gremlin! I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate it. Like I'm a gremlin. Showing different, different layers of what different people are doing during that time and having a general focus that there's a camera, camera watching and people are being active. With group shots too, you can uh, mix up the expression. So if you wanna do something serious, um, super serious or something more fun, um, you, you can really play with the expressions for that. So those are pose ideas. Um, you can get like side by side or have like your favorite like weight together. Props are also really good for group shots. So you can have people with different size dumbbells. You can have people with their like favorite um, favorite, favorite workout tool. So, um, if you have like a bar or something that people always use, you can add that into like a side, um, of somebody just holding it, you know, just having a whole team of people, um, is just, that's, that's the goal. <laughs> that's the shot right there. Um, so those are my posing ideas for fitness photo shoots. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're a photographer, trainer, uh, model, really anybody, I hope you all have a good day and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. For posing. So make sure that if you're looking at the camera, you stay looking at the camera um, versus if you're looking off in the distance, make sure you have like a point where you are always looking. Otherwise you will be like, your eyes will be looking at different directions during the whole shoot. Um, and especially when you do pivot to like one specific spot, the photographer will notice that and will may redirect you into a new position. Um, so uh, 